let's look at LRFD. Remember my table. Now for LRFD, if I'm de designing that table, I'm going to factor my demand, my my um, my loads. So on the demand side, I'm going to apply load factors, and I'm going to reduce my strength on the capacity side. Okay. In LRFD, that reduction factor is represented by this symbol, phi, or phi. Okay. So anytime you see a phi, that represents my reduction factor in LRFD. All right. Applied on the capacity side. All right. Now, similar to the safety factor in ASD, this is not always just the same number. It depends. Am I in bending? Am I in shear? What we'll use a lot for beam problems is 0.9, because in bending, the phi factor in LRFD for bending is 0.9. Okay, so we'll use that quite a bit here in the next uh, couple nights. Um, so that would be my reduction factor on the capacity side. On the demand side, I'm factoring my loads up. Right, because remember my table, if I'm thinking I'm actually going to have 75 pounds on this table, from a design perspective, I might want to pretend I'm going to have larger than 75, right? So my load factors will almost always be greater than 1, okay? 1 1.2, 1 1.6, 1.4, things like that, okay? There are scenarios where you apply a load factor less than 1, but we'll talk about here in a little bit. Okay, but for the most part, for dead load plus live load, which is another, which is a load combination for LRFD also, this load combination of 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live is probably the most common load combination uh, that you'll use for the morning part in LRFD. 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live. This would be the most common. And in our problems, uh, I think. I think this is the only load combination we end up using. There's one other that we check to make sure which one governs, um, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So LRFD, on our demand side, how much am I putting on the table? I'm factoring my loads up, right? So this is the 1.2 plus 1.6, all right? On the capacity side, I'm reducing my capacity by a reduction factor, phi, or phi, all right? And then I compare the two. I make sure that my, okay, this V sub U, this represents factored loads. Anytime you see V sub U, that means the loads have already been factored. Or M sub U, loads have been factored. Okay, so my factored loads compared to my reduced capacity and I ensure that that is still less than or equal to my reduced capacity, okay? Factor my loads up, reduce my capacity down, and make sure that my loads are still less than my capacity, All right? So that is my quote-unquote built-in safety factor. In ASD, the safety factor is easy to see. It's just whatever that omega was that we used. If it's 2, then my factor of safety is 2. If it's 1.5, then it's a factor of safety of 1.5. In LRFD, it's not as obvious what factor of safety I have. It's not as easy to just say, oh, I have a, 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 a factor of safety of 2, right? Because I've got load combinations over here, and I've got a reduction factor over here. There's a lot of variables floating around. So it's not obvious what my factor of safety is. Okay. So that's the... That's the process. I apply my load combinations to the demand side. I apply my reduction factor on the capacity side. And I compare them. And I, you know, have to have my demand still less than or equal to my capacity. Okay.